Imagine doing four tours of Afghanistan as part of the SAS, on the front line, fighting an enemy who doesn't follow any of the rules of warfare, whose evil knows no bounds. Then imagine if it was also your job to try and save the lives of your mates, the soldiers you fought alongside, who became like family. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Pronk. I did my medical schooling on an army scholarship and served 14 years with the Australian Army as a medical officer. You really can't provide any meaningful medical care to someone in the field unless that threat's under control. So the, the tactical piece comes first. You know, this isn't unique to soldiers. It certainly isn't unique to me. This is something that, that our police officers, our ambulance officers, our correctional officers, emergency department staff are all facing on a day-to-day -day basis. So when you're about to blow in and go into an almost certain gunfight, your body's trying to render you blind, deaf, and incapable of operating your weapons and communication system. And, and it's of course not where you want to be, but this is what your body does to you. And, and, and this is the same if you're going into a resuscitation situation, something happens, this is the fight or flight. It, it really focuses you in, and, and that's a, this evolutionary response, but it can be quite limiting. This loss of tribe, these people that I'd had all these really uh, rich experiences, both positive and negative, with that I was that were like a, a family to me that I'd, I'd lost. And stress and resilience are universal. It doesn't matter if your stress is the stress of, of being uh, with the SAS regiment or the stress of being a busy GP trying to churn through six-minute consults or the stress of being an emergency doctor or nurse or paramedic or police officer or a, a mum at home raising young kids. Stress is stress. Resilience is resilience.